and now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about the night in which Jesus was betrayed and arrested. On that night, Jesus provided a simple meal by which his followers could remember his dying love for them. He also prayed earnestly for an alternate method of salvation, but when none was found, he willingly gave himself over to the shameful crucifixion. Someone might ask the question, why did Jesus pray for this cup of suffering to pass when he knew that he must go to the cross? There is a great mystery in trying to understand the human and divine natures as combined in our Lord Jesus Christ. In his human nature we see him tired, hungry, sleeping, and on this night crying out for deliverance. In his divine nature we see Jesus foretelling the details of his own arrest and crucifixion. We see him walk on the sea, raise the dead, still a storm and cast out evil spirits. We know that Jesus was a man and truly human, but he was also God incarnate. It makes it difficult for us to understand how Jesus could know full well that he would be sentenced to die on a cross in just a few short hours and that this must be the case to fulfill the scriptures and secure salvation for mankind and yet at the same time hear him pray that the Father would allow this cup to pass away from him. This meant he was praying if there remained any other possible way to accomplish our salvation then he was pleading for that option. We may have to accept that we cannot fully fathom the mystery of the dual nature of Christ in both his human and divine natures. Perhaps we can simply understand that while Jesus knew he must go to the cross and suffer, he was still shrinking back at the horrible reality of the shame and suffering he would have to endure. It was his human nature that recoiled at the thought of such a horrible torture as death and from the wrath that must fall upon him in order to pay sin's penalty. During the time Jesus was on the cross, we are told that his soul was made an offering for sin and that he bore in his own body our sins. We just cannot fathom the depth of judgment he went through because of our sins, and his spirit was horrified and greatly troubled by those dark looming hours upon the cross. It is not that he was unwilling to go, for he asserted, Not my will, but thine be done. Although our Lord Jesus has surrendered his will to the cross, and though in his divine nature he knew what must happen, yet there was a holy revulsion to the horrors of the cross. We might think of it this way. Imagine the policeman has given you a speeding fine. You know for sure you must pay the price because the crime has definitely been committed you know justice must be served, but you also know paying for the fine is going to hurt you financially, and so you still make your plea to the officer to see if there is any other way you could pay for the crime. But all the while you know that the law demands that you must pay the fine. It is not that you are rejecting the law or its just judgment, but you just dread the weight of the law and its punishment upon you and your reaction is to look for any way out but in reality you know you will have to pay the price. If I think of this simple analogy perhaps it can help me to understand why Jesus prayed as he did for deliverance from the judgment he knew he must face. The difference of course is that he did not have to pay just a small fine but he took all the judgment for all of man's sin. He was in great anguish of spirit when he thought of what he must endure to fully pay our debt. There are some scenes in the Bible which make us wonder in awe at the marvelous plan of God to redeem lost mankind. Here in the Gospels we see how Jesus yielded himself willingly to be our Savior, even when the men he came to save treated him so cruelly and unjustly. Yet his purpose was not diminished by the failures and sin of men, and he humbled himself even to the point of death on a cross. Have you considered the debt Jesus paid for your sins? Have you considered how much pain and suffering he went through so you could go to heaven? 
I hope you will appreciate and thank him for his love and sacrifice and call upon him in faith to save your soul. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans chapter 10 verse 13